Hey, hey, it's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs, and today we are going to be working on hanging some vertical shiplap in the hallway bathroom up at the Clayton Mountain Cottage. To make life easy, we picked up this prefab shiplap panel from Home Depot. Um, it measured eight feet long, and we just cut it in half and flipped it on its side so we could use it for a vertical piece. I used my Sherwin-Williams 3 8 of an inch nap roller to apply the paint, and for the nickel width, gap in between the panels i am using a small artist brush to make sure i get paint in there we are painting it tone on tone in the same color as the bathroom walls it's a color called drift of mist by sherwin williams because these panels come pre-primed there's no need to prime them separately i did a total of two coats on each panel for good coverage This is a picture of the back wall of the hallway bathroom that is across from the counter and sink. Um, and here's my cute little toddler Remington modeling for you. Okay, so we are working in the bathroom here. Um, the plan is to put vertical ship up here um, on this wall to try to cover up the really crappy drywall job that was done in here years ago. I filled and filled and filled holes with putty as much as I could, but it still looks really bad. So um, I'm going to try to cover it with some ship lab. So just to give you an idea, this is uh, what I'm trying to cover up. So the wall is old. It just has a lot of bumps and lumps in it. I filled um, a lot, like I can't even tell you. Well, you can see the pictures how many places I had filled it, but it still is just really lumpy and bumpy. And so the plan is to um, hang the vertical ship lap to try to cover that up. So we're gonna start by marking studs, if there even is any in here. Um, and we'll use our chalk to mark it off. And then we will um, start trying to hang it. When using the stud finder, the machine should light up and beep when you run across a stud behind your drywall. This indicates where you need to apply your nails. Since the length of the wall didn't measure up exactly with the length of our shiplap, we had to cut it to fit and so my husband used a jigsaw to do this to cut it to fit behind the door. <laughs> Once we got the panels cut to fit on our wall, it's time for installation. Sorry guys, he's just too cute and I have to add him to some of my videos for memories. Once we were sure it was cut to fit the wall perfectly, it was time to adhere it and hang it to the wall. Hey, hey, it's Tyler here and Jacinta and Remy from Rehab to Fab Designs. We are starting week four, I think, at the cottage up in the mountains in North Georgia. Um, we have basically got most of our paint done in all the major rooms. We got the ceilings done, the paint done, um, the baseboards, the trim. Um, we still got to do popcorn ceilings. Um, and we've got to paint the laundry room and the upstairs, but we're trying to focus on the main areas now And we are about to cover up some of this wall here. This is the main um, Hall bathroom. We had a really old and crappy drywall job We filled and filled and filled so many dips and dings, but it's still just like it's the only thing I see when I look at the walls in here. So we're gonna fix that by hanging some shiplap. We're gonna put this up in a vertical manner. Um, this is prefab shiplap that we got at Home Depot. We have cut it already to fit the wall um, because the wall's not straight, so we kinda had to make it fit. Um, and we are about to hang it. So we are gonna use liquid nails. You can pick this up at your local hardware store. Um, we are going to apply it to the back. We are going to um, hang it on the wall. We've already marked where we think the studs are. This is a really old house. I think it's from like 1904 um, when it was built. I'm not sure if this was even an original bathroom um, or how long the walls have been here. But um, who knows? 
the stud finder has a hard time finding studs and you yeah. find it one time and then not two, the next two times. Um, and they're wider than what they should be, so I'm not really sure what's behind the walls. But we're gonna do the best we can. We're gonna use our liquid nails to attach it. Um, and then um, once we get this up, we're gonna put some trim on the top. And then the plan is to put some hooks on it for um, the people that come in and stay in their towels. When applying the liquid nails with a caulk gun, you're going to want to do it like my husband and not like me because mine looks terrible. You want to actually touch the tip of the caulk gun to whatever it is you're applying your liquid nails to and then drag it smoothly across the panel. Once your liquid nails is in place, you're ready to hang. Simply um, take it to the wall that you're wanting to apply your shiplap to. Press it into place. Put your second piece up, making sure that they lock into place um, and fit nice and tight. And then we're just going to nail them in. I'm going to use our Ryobi Airstrike for this. We used an 18 gauge, one and a half inch nail to put these in place. Shoot your nails in along the length of the ship lap at every stud, previously marked with your stud finder. Once you have the panel secured to the wall by applying your nails in the top of the ship lap, we're going to come across the bottom and apply them here as well. Here's what it looks like so far. It's so much better than the drywall was. Now that we have our shiplap hung, we have some nail holes to come back and fill. We started out using painter's putty here to fill in the holes from the nail gun, but I don't really like this product that much. I prefer my spackling. All right, so we have our vertical shiplap wall up here in the bathroom. It's coming along the wall here up to the door. We um, used liquid nails to apply to the back and then came across and shot nails where the um, studs were and now we are going to come and put a one by three board across the top for trim all right so next up we are going to add our one by three trim to the top of this here um, and then we'll just put another coat of paint on it and we'll be done once again we're going to use our liquid nails to apply this board to our wall use your caulking gun to um, apply it to the back of the board and once you're done applying the liquid nails we are going to place it over top of our vertical ship lap and then we will also nail it into place with one of us on each end of the board we were able to hold it in place flip it up onto the wall and then press down then we used our airstrike to come along again and nail it into place gonna fill our nail holes again for the trim so this product is a little bit um, oily in nature, um, so make sure you're using a glove if you use it. Um, I just was kind of picking up a little blob on the tip of my finger and then rubbing it into place to fill the holes that were created with the nail gun. And then um, you can use another finger to try to wipe off the excess and kind of smooth it out. Um, and I did use it for these, but like I say, I really prefer using my spackling and a putty knife. I just think it's a lot neater. You can wipe the excess off more easily and it's just not as cumbersome. Next up is caulk. Exchange your liquid nails here for your caulk um, in your caulking gun and then simply press the trigger as you are going down the seams of the vertical ship lap, applying your caulk as you go. Then use your finger to smooth out. Once you're done with this, you can sand over the putty you used to fill your holes if needed and then apply another coat of paint. Um, and all we have left is to put our hooks up for our towels. All right, so we are finishing up the um, vertical ship lap here in the bathroom at the Clayton house. We're doing some finishing touches, getting close to being done. Um, I picked up this hardware. From Home Depot. I'll show you what it looks like. It's a really cute kind of modern piece. I had another piece I was going to put up, but it actually didn't fit on my board. So this is what we're going for. We're going to do one here, and then we're going to skip every two vertical shiplap boards and do another one. I love the shape of these and the flat uh, matte black finish because I think it makes them super modern. Here you can see my husband is marking the place for the screws to go using the mounting hardware and a pencil. 
Once marked, he's using a drill to insert the screws into the mounting hardware to attach it to our 1x3 um, board that we applied to the top of the vertical shiplap. Another thing that makes these particular hooks super sleek and modern is that you cannot see any screws on the outside when you apply them. Rather than having a open hole that you put the screw through the front end where the screw is visible, these actually have a mounting bracket on the back. So you adhere the bracket to the wall and then once you get it in place you simply slide the actual hook down over the bracket locking it into place which makes them just a little more sleek in design. As always, thanks for watching and be sure and follow along with us with our continued projects up at the Clayton Mountain Cottage. Don't forget to like and subscribe.